Hi there. Welcome to another exciting session of learning provided by Quicksoft. You can contact us for any training needs or doubts you have by sending your email at contact@quicksoft.com. In today's session, we are going to cover a very interesting topic that is intercompany. Intercompany is one of the key areas where every organization is concerned about because this causes a lot of overhead during period closing and delays the reporting time. more organization you have with whom you do intercompany transactions more the challenges of reconciling it every month okay let's start so what is an intercompany from definition perspective it's a term used to describe activities that are conducted between two or more affiliates or business units of the same parent company Let me show you a simple example so that you can understand it clearly. Here I'm showing you a very simple sample journal entry where I have company A debit hundred, company B credit hundred. As you know, for any journal entry, debit and credit should always be equal. That is the principle of double entry journal entry. In this example, debit and credit are equal, but if I look at entity level, company A has only debit entry, company B has only credit entry. now what will happen if you post this journal in the books when you post this journal in the books system will see this that these are not the balanced journal so based on the balancing rules defined in the system system will automatically try to create the balancing entry for company a and also balancing entry for company b in case the balancing rules are not found then system will show an error and journal posting will be disabled so intercompany transactions can be of two types one is called intercompany and other is called intra company in both the journals the difference is between the balancing segments or the company values you have but when do you when you do intra company this is between separate legal entities the two different legal entities we are using in one journal and intra company means there are two different balancing entities but they are all part of the same legal entity you will get a better understanding of intra company and intra company when i show you it in the system Let me first show you the setup required for a simple intercompany transaction, which is balancing rules. After I log into my Fusion applications, I look for my project. I search for my balancing rule task. Here it is. This one. This is the screen where we define balancing rules. Balancing rules can be defined at four levels. Let me first search for my book. My book starts with Q S. Okay, I look for this book. Search. Okay, the rules can be defined at primary segment level, legal entity level. ledger level or chart of account level when oracle tries to look for a rule it will first look for this primary segment if cannot find look for legal entity if cannot find look for ledger if cannot find it will look for chart of account and if it cannot find a chart of account level also then it will complete with error in our example we have defined a chart of account level you can see the rules are defined so basically the rule says for the chart of account This is the receivable account. This is the payable account. If you have, for example, twenty entities balancing segments, you do not need to define this for all twenty balancing segment. You just define for one because when Oracle processes the data, it will replace the your entity and also intercompany segment automatically. Just define for one entity, the receivable account and the payable account. These accounts will be used for balancing your intercompany data. you can define rules for a specific general source of category or you can define for just leave other other that means it will be covered for all general sources and category okay so you have seen uh, what balancing rules are so now we will, we are going to create an intra company journal and then we post it then you will see how intra company balancing rule comes in action i go to my general accounting responsibility journals I want to create a new journal. 
create journal match i can just give test ic1 i will just put bare minimum information because my focus is showing you the actual transaction which happens at accounting line level top you can just leave everything default i go to account level i choose the company singapore hq line of business none account i will just pick any account just to show you the transaction maybe i'll pick this one cost center none product none balancing segment for the company this is same for this line and i put 1000 here and the description i put line 1 now for second line i will cut and paste the same account and just change the entities here i will choose entity 3 triple eight and here i will also change it to three triple eight okay okay now this is very similar to example which i have shown you the two lines even though the journal balance is lekin but it is not correct from balancing segment perspective okay now i will just save this journal category we have to choose i choose addition okay i save this journal even at this stage you will see there's nothing nothing changed here yeah, this is still the original entry which i created the change will happen when i do the posting let me post it it has submitted a process to do the posting let's wait for it to complete go to manage journal screen the meanwhile i'm looking for august 18 journals let me see Our journal name is test IC one. Okay, test IC one is not balanced by balancing segment value. Okay, let's see why. A journal is not balanced for balancing segment values, and intercompany is not enabled for ledger. Okay, so looks like in this ledger, intercompany is not enabled. Let us go to ledger setup. Okay, I'm into ledger setup screen for my ledger. let me see yeah intercompany is not enabled enable intercompany accounting we have enabled intercompany accounting for the ledger and must define intercompany rules which i have already defined in accounting setup manager do you want to continue yes i'll say uh, okay save and close this journal has not been posted because of the issue now let me try to post the journal again and see what happened this time let us see 
and the Germans. Posted. And let me open and show you. These were the original line, line 1 and line 2, which I created. The system has automatically created intercompany balancing lines. And you notice this intercompany tables. This one is intercompany receivables. Yeah. What's the difference? Look at the primary segment and the last segment. That means this entity got this uh, intercompany line because of this transaction. Then this entity got this line because of this transaction. So this is how Oracle does the intercompany balancing. So in this chapter, we have seen what intercompany is, and I have also shown you how the balancing rule works. When uh, when we did the posting, it failed because we had not enabled intercompany balancing at ledger level. So you also understood that. And then after then defining that, when we did the posting, we saw it has already created the balancing journal entry. So now at each entity level, the journals are balanced. I hope you enjoyed this session and found it useful. In my next video, I'm going to show you another variation of intercompany, but by using intercompany transaction. So stay tuned and watch my next video. Thank you. Keep watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe. And if you need any help anytime, remember to send an email at contact at quicksoft.com. Thank you.